Hey folks, welcome to Software Testing Hacks. In this video, let's talk about Selenium Web Driver. What is Selenium Web Driver and what is the architecture of Selenium Web Driver? Before we begin, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. So let's see what is Selenium Web Driver. Web Driver uses browser automation APIs provided by browser vendors to control the browser and run tests so basically web driver is an api okay so it is one of the selenium suite in the previous video we have discussed about the components selenium ide and selenium rc which is now deprecated and then a selenium web driver and selenium grid so these are the different components that are present in the Selenium. So under that, Selenium web driver is one which is most popular and it is mostly used. It provides a programming interface to interact with web elements and perform various actions such as clicking buttons, entering text, navigating pages and validating the elements okay so basically it provides an interface to perform actions on the elements that are present in the web okay web driver directly communicates with the browser using native methods making it faster and more reliable okay so let's see in the architecture how it communicates web driver's architecture includes client library web driver api okay and then the browser drivers and virtual browsers okay so ensuring seamless automation and accurate testing results so with the help of selenium web driver basically we can perform the whole of the automation so here is the architecture of selenium web driver and uh, right now currently selenium 4 is in you know live and in market but uh, previously we were using the selenium web driver selenium 3 version was there so the architecture differs from selenium 3 and then selenium 4 so here is what uh, we will talk about the architecture of selenium 3 first okay selenium client libraries so we spoke that Selenium contains Selenium client libraries, browser drivers, and then the browsers. So here the communication way, how it communicates is, suppose say, uh, using the Selenium client library, so basically you use any of the IDEs, like Eclipse, right? Eclipse or something. So you use and then you write it, you know, using by selecting one of the programming language, correct? After you write it, so what will happen once you write it? So basically, it has to communicate with the browser driver. Browser driver is in the middle. So it basically helps to communicate with the real browsers. Okay. So what happens is it will be converted. Whatever you write, it will get converted as in the, the JSON wire protocol. So it gets converted into a JSON format. JSON is basically JavaScript object notion. So using that, it communicates to the browser driver so what is the protocol which is used it is json wire protocol so using the json wire protocol it communicates with the browser drivers first so once the, it is communicate with the browser driver what is its duty is to communicate with the browsers real browsers for example suppose say you want to execute a particular script okay using chrome driver okay or chrome browser basically so you write it in id okay and then say that you want to use chrome as your browser so what will happen is you have to have the chrome driver okay uh, so once you have the chrome driver it will talk to the respective browser chrome browser okay if you want to execute it using the Geeko, Geeko is firefox so firefox then what will happen is this Geeko driver will talk to the Firefox browser, Edge driver, it will communicate with the Edge browser, Safari driver will communicate with the Safari driver and in response, it will, um, you know, give the response back to the browser driver and then, and then finally, you will be able to see the result on your IDEs. So, this is how the communication will happen and here the communication will happen over HTTP method. So, HTTP is used, communicate between the uh, browser driver and then the browsers 
okay so this is how the architecture look in selenium 3 okay so in selenium 4 these client uh, selenium client libraries remain same and then the browser drivers remain same as well as the browser remain same so but what change happens is the communication there we were using the json wire protocol but here the uh, w3c protocol will be used so that is the only difference between selenium 3 and then selenium 4 so this is how uh, it actually works so the selenium client libraries okay you will write and then uh, it will communicate using w3c protocol okay and then it will communicate again to the browser drivers and the browser driver will communicate to the real browser using the http method this communication will happen like this is like two way communication and then once you uh, get the response back it will be shown or displayed on your ides or result will be shown so this is about the architecture of the selenium web driver so hope you learned the selenium what is selenium web driver basically it is an api okay which uh, you can use to you know perform actions on the uh, web browsers for, for example like brow uh, web applications basically i can say so this is all about selenium web driver and the architecture of selenium web driver 3 and 4 hope you have learned about selenium web driver if you have liked it please do like it share it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you for watching bye bye